my fellow Ghanaians, my fellow Akatamansonians, already we have a robust set of policy proposals that will advance the progress of our nation and propel its development at a much quicker pace to bring development and relief to our people. Towards the end of last year, I put forward a few of these propo uh, policy proposals to address some of the most pressing problems as a country when we are sworn into office on January 7, 2021. And I wish to share a few of them with you. Among others, I spoke about making technical and vocational education in Ghana free of charge. I note that this has generated a positive reception from Ghanaians. Let me take this opportunity to assure all Ghanaians that our program of technical and vocational education are comprehensive and far-reaching. The free TVET program would operate at all levels from second cycle to tertiary. <laughs> to be clear, students undergoing technical and vocational education at the secondary cycle and tertiary level will pay no fees. It is important to note that as we speak, only 48 TVET institutions under the Ghana Education Service currently benefit from the free SHS program. The remaining 240 technical and vocational educational training institutions in the country have not been catered for. Under an NDC government, all these institutions will be brought into the free education scheme. Because we must not pay lip service to technical and vocational education. Indeed, technical and vocational education is the training that will move this country to the next level. And that aspect of education requires even more investment than uh, uh, the current um, uh, uh, areas that we have. And so we will bring TVET on board and let them also enjoy free education so that we can create the middle level non-power that is needed for industry and business.